I always told y'all that I was going to be very transparent with this channel and do my best to give you the best information, the best that I can, how I see it. So in my opinion, there is one thing that LPNs, new LPNs, and LPN students must know when you choose to become, specifically choose to become a licensed practical nurse. Let's talk about it. You can live pretty well by yourself. What's good, YouTube? It's your man, CJ, checking in once again, a.k.a. the High Value Nurse, back with another video. So, I always told you I'm going to keep it real, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to make this thing long and drawn out. The one thing y'all absolutely have to know, to all my LPN students, to all my brand new LPNs, and maybe even LPNs that's been in the game a minute, y'all got to understand when you choose to become an LPM, you have to know that there are a lot of opportunities with being an LPN. There are ways to make six figures. It's actually it's relatively easy and I've done a video about how to make six figures as an LPN. Um, but you have to understand that for those of you that want to continue and go back and pursue maybe education like further ed education I won't lie to you because depending on where you are what state you're in it can be very difficult to go back after you start making good money um, so here in Michigan the average RN starts off at about in the hospital setting starts off at about 33 between between 33 34 dollars and in the setting that I work in now, in assisted living and in a long-term care setting that I work in now, I make more than that. So what I'm saying is that it can be difficult to go back because how I was looking at it was, okay, I go back to school, I learn, um, I get in the hospital, I learn their systems, I take up a specialty, but if I go back, I'm almost taking a $7 pay cut. You feel me? And that's the hardest thing to me with going back to school. Now I'm going back to school uh, April, 2024, but because I do want to advance my education, but it's still a thing. It's still something that I battle with because that's a seven, almost a $7 pay cut. And I know a lot of y'all, y'all get into the game and you want to travel. You know what I'm saying? Make sure I ain't got nothing in my teeth. A lot of y'all get in the game and y'all want to travel. And I do too. You want to learn a specialty? I do too. I want to get into the ICU specialty still. Even though with all the, all the BS that still goes on within nursing and in the hospital system, I still want to learn a specialty because I still feel like gathering those skills can still help me even when I step away from the bedside. Um, it can help me transition into a position to where I can take everything that I've learned from the bedside, especially working within the ICU, and transition that into some sort of business that I can open up or run from home or run from my laptop within nursing. But that's neither here nor there with this video. But the, but the point is, it's difficult because a lot of the times, a lot of people will be like, okay, when you're making such and such amount of dollars, I'm good. I'm good. And the money do stacks up. You stack your money up. You're living good. You're living fly. You're going on vacation. You you don't want for nothing. You're relatively, you're set. You're good. You start contributing to your retirement. You start putting money up over here. You make unlimited hours if you're willing to put in the work. And that's what I'm saying. It can be very difficult, especially if you're somebody like me who's willing to get up and go to work, who don't call off, who like nice things, who likes to travel, who willing to put in them hours, who want to save money and all that kind of stuff. It can be very difficult because with being an LPN within one to two years, you know what I'm saying? With doing that first, you go from making five, ten dollars, not five, ten dollars, but before you become an LPN, at least for me, 
I was working at Amazon, like I've said in previous videos, making fourteen, fifteen dollars. My first job as LP and I jumped to twenty six dollars. So that's almost a ten dollar well fourteen that's a, that's a twelve dollar pay raise in a matter of eleven months. Um for being an LPN. Fast forward two and a half years later, you know what I'm saying? Like it's almost almost fourteen another fourteen dollar jump. So that really doesn't happen in the hospital like that, in a hospital setting like that, unless you have a specialty and you've been in your specialty for a little while, for at least two years. From what I've seen, from what I, from the nurses that I've talked to, the RNs that I've talked to that work in the hospitals and work specifically in ICU. So once I get into ICU, um, I'll probably be jumping, I'll probably be making around $32, $33, maybe $34 an hour in the hospital. Um, and I'm sure they'll have bonuses, pick up bonuses and all that other kind of stuff. Um, but it's still gonna be a nice pay cut. <laughs> and that's gonna be the thing. Yeah, and that's something that y'all have to know and y'all have to understand. So I'm not telling the students that are considering becoming LPN not to go to LPN route. I think it's a great route to go down. I went down that route. But what I am telling you is to consider your options, right? Because um, I won't lie to you, man. Like, it can be very difficult to go back to go back to school. It really can be because you get used to a certain lifestyle. Like, you get used to a certain lifestyle. You get used to how things work and everything like that. And I know some of y'all are very motivated. Get your LPN. Boom. You go right to school. Boom. It is what it is. Now, me, I got my LPN. Play with some money, started going on vacation, now I put money up to the side, um, and I'm just putting myself in a, in a good position before I take the next step in my education. And at the same time, um, it's almost like, dang, as soon as I get that RN and I get into the hospital system, I am going to take a pay cut. But I do understand that it is a necessary step that I have to take in order to get to the greater goal, right? Because the greater goal is to start travel nursing. Once I start travel nursing, as I'm travel nursing or working on my, um, or working and training within the ICU locally, I'm working on my MP, uh, getting my master's and getting my MP and everything like that. And that can transition into a role to where I can step away from the bedside within five to, within five to seven years and be totally um, either remote, well, totally remote, 100% remote. I don't want to be at the bedside <laughs> no longer than like six, seven years. So, you know, I want to do my traveling. <clears throat> Once I get my year and a half, two years of experience in the ICU, I want to do my traveling, get them good assignments in, make these investments, and then, you know, work on getting my MP and then stepping away from the bedside. CRNA, I may still, we'll see. We'll see, because like I said, if, if if things pop off the way I want them to pop off beforehand, then I'll just probably stop at a BSN. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it real funky with you, because honestly, <laughs> my goal within the next two years, I, I'm gonna keep it so real. Like my my plan A goal, I would love to be uh, making a living, going on cruises full time all the time non-stop that's my goal but in case that doesn't happen i have a phenomenal plan b <laughs> and i plan to have that uh work out from there so what you have to know is that when you become an lpn uh depending on the state you will make phenomenal money you'll make great money um you have to know that you'll you will make six figures it's definitely 100 percent possible and it's not hard you can definitely make six figures as an LPN. And uh, it's no whole scheme, nothing crazy like that. You can definitely make six figures. It's not that hard. Um, and it's really not even that many hours involved. And I'm even about to cut back. So, like, usually, like, like I've been getting it. And I'm about to just start working my four, like, four days a week, 16-hour uh, shifts. And... That's about to be it. The other three days a week are going to be uh, working on my business, um, 
and uh, figuring out other in streams of income away from nursing, you know, getting this YouTube going, working on my apparel line, and um, just working on other forms of revenue to bring in. But like I said, I'm working my 416s, and I'm going to keep it as simple as that. <sighs> that will still put me at where I need to be. But like I said, you will get make good money. You will, um, you will make six figures if you put, you know, if you put in the work and are in the right state. But it, if you are like me, it will be kind of difficult to go back to school once you start making that great money. And I know a lot of people can relate to that because a lot of people have told me that. So that's what it, that's really what I want you to know. And if you are somebody considering being an LPN, take what I said, process it. If you are in a situation to where you need to change your life ASAP, go to LPN school. You know what I'm saying? It's, no, it's 11 months. You'll be a six-figure earner in 11 months. But if you are somebody who wants to take your, you know, you want to go further and your ultimate goal is to get your BSN because you want to attain something that's a little bit higher than LPN, it's absolutely not wrong with that. So um, take what I said, process it, figure out what's for you. You know what I'm saying? Me, I was just in a situation to where, you know, I got tired of being broke. I wanted some quick money. And LPN was it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm taking it to the next level. And don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. I'm very, I'm very, I won't say satisfied, but I'm content. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not satisfied. Uh, but it's, it's, it's good. I'm okay. I'm in a good position. So that's all I'm saying. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is what you must know before you become an LPN. And this is what you must know uh, while you're an LPN student. You must take this into consideration. Now, if you're in school, don't drop out. Do what you got to do. But if you plan to continue your education, I would say take your year, get your experience in, save up as much as you can, and go right back. You know, because it, it can get harder. So harder to go back. That's all I'm saying. So, but at the end of the day, you got to make your own decisions. Um, I'm just here to help. So if that's what you want to do, then do it. My name is CJ, AKA the high value nurse checking in once again, back with another video and, uh, leave a comment, like subscribe, all that good stuff. Really please like this video y'all. Cause it really, it's been helping me so much. So yeah, make sure y'all like all the videos and, um, till next time get paid young nurse get paid peace